everybody, it's me, Hesa Chan. Today we're going to do something a bit different. We are going to assemble and customize this Hasegawa capsule toy machine kit. Let's get started. I'm going to customize this by painting the blue parts pink with this pink spray paint that I got. As you can see here, I have printed out my own custom Gashapon machine inserts. I made sure to print out a good amount of them. That way, if I mess up cutting some out, I have more to work with. This is the artwork that came inside the model kit, but I actually wanted authentic Gashapon art instead of this. I need a smaller pair of pliers so I went upstairs and grabbed my little jewelry working ones. Except for the capsules, I'm gonna go in and clean up some of these tabs here that you see on the edge of the plastic. I'm trying to be very careful with this so I don't hurt myself or mess up the model. about these tabs you can go over them with a very fine grit sandpaper but I don't care too much so we're just gonna leave it as is are cleaned up, I'm going to take the blue parts and go outside and spray paint them pink. So come join me. Now to paint the pieces, I am using a Designer Master spray paint in the color Perfect Pink. is drying outside, we're going to assemble these little capsules. Let's try cleaning some of these up. 
Almost done with the clear ones. So we're gonna put these together. You can see the tiny little capsule. It's so tiny. Only five more to go, and my fingers already hurt trying to press these things together. Some of them go in easily, some of them not so much. There we have all of our little capsules. Now we can finally start cutting these out. I probably should have put black borders around these, but I wasn't thinking at the time. I was just so excited to get them printed out. Try to pick the best one. That's why I printed so many. So there we have our two Gashapon display images. Sailor Moon and Popotan. I picked both of these because I really like the anime Popotan and well Sailor Moon's one of my favorites too. Now that my pieces are all painted pink, I'm ready to assemble them together. In hindsight, I probably should have got a clear gloss for these pieces, but oh well, we'll have to make do with what we have. I see people having trouble with when I've watched other videos of people assembling these. And I'm no different. I really don't want to break it. I managed to get it to fit in there. It was quite difficult though. I accidentally messed up my paint job with my nails. Ah. For the bottom one, I'm going to put the Sailor Moon one in there. I'm gonna pick which one is the best top to go on the top. Ooh, it's a hard pick. Remember not to use my nails because I don't want to mess up the paint job. Man, this does not want to go on. There we go. And now it's fully assembled. And this is the final product. I really hope you guys liked this video. I know it was a bit different than what we normally do on this channel, but I want to start getting some more of these cute little model kits and putting them together and customizing them with you. Let me know if you like these kind of videos by hitting the like button down below. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!